Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for our kickoff event for Ohio Tech Day. We're incredibly excited and grateful that you're joining us uh, bright and early on a Friday morning. Uh, but this is really an awesome way to start the day, and we have so much going on uh, that uh, we're really excited for. And thanks for joining in. It's uh, great that you can join us. Um, we know people are tuning in around the state, but we're also recording this because we've designed it purposefully so we're able to record it. Um, and have it in short bursts that we're going to be able to share with students and high schools and teachers across the state. So hopefully this content and some of the resources that have been built and are continuing to be built can be used all across the year as a resource to hopefully help inspire uh, and get more students interested in the technology community. I am, for those of you that, that don't know, Chris Berry. I'm the president of Ohio X. We're a statewide technology and innovation nonprofit working to help build Ohio into a tech hub. And so Part of that is our work here with Ohio Tech Day. And even though it's a single day, uh, we're hoping that the, the relationships and the, the partnerships we're building will really help us year round better connect education to industry. And as I mentioned a moment ago, inspire Ohio's high school students. Uh, to start, I wanna thank, and you see Amber Tillman from the Facebook team on Facebook. They're our presenting partner for this awesome day and there's so much to it. I'll describe a little bit more in a bit. Um, but without their help, this day would not be what it is. Um, and one of the cool stories is that there are Facebook employees in a big Facebook data center right here in Ohio that helps power your Facebook, your Instagram, all that great stuff. And so, Amber, thank you so much to you and your team uh, for participating in the day, just diving in and helping it make it what it is. I also want to thank a few of our other sponsors and partners who have made this possible. We have an awesome Ohio X uh, Ohio Tech Day Planning Committee. This group has met every other Friday for about eight months now, building and putting this day together. Uh, thank you to that whole planning committee. We also have Parallax Advanced Research out of the Dayton area. Matt, Emma, their entire team, John and Audrey have been fantastic. Uh, I know they're tuning in, but they're also hosting uh, a really awesome in-person day at their facility in downtown Dayton where they're inviting students in as part of the, the virtual or to say the DIY do-it-yourself events. We also have e &Y. Uh, Thanks to Matt and the team there for helping make this possible and diving in. And then also our media partner for this is Flyover Future. They're a great organization telling stories about tech and innovation all across the Midwest. And so without these people and so many more, this day wouldn't be possible. Um, but to start, I want to hand it over to Amber from the Facebook team. Amber, thank you to you and your team for diving in, helping make this day possible, uh, and helping build it to what it is. It's the first one ever, but we're already planning for next year. So more on that later, but it's going to be the last Friday in September every single year. But Amber, thank you so much for joining with us. And thanks to you, your entire team, uh, you know, Vic, Danielle, Gina, the entire team for making everything possible. So welcome and thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Chris. This is awesome. I'm so happy to be here. Facebook is so happy to be a part of this. Good morning to everybody. Um, as Chris said, my name is Amber and I work here at Facebook in our new Albany data center. Um, so thrilled to be a part of the first ever Ohio Tech Day. I know it's going to be the first of many awesome events in years to come. At Facebook, we are all about connecting people and communities and our data center in New Albany does just that. We're building a state of the art data center, which, which houses the infrastructure that brings the Facebook family of apps like Instagram and Oculus and WhatsApp and more to you every single day so that you can stay connected to your communities too. Um, we've got a great lineup today. You're going to hear from students and tech experts on some of the cool things that they're working on here in Ohio. We've got a special guest of Lieutenant Governor Houston, who's going to be joining soon. Um, he's such a great advocate for tech and helping really advance the needle or move the needle forward here to create opportunities for students and employers and everyone across the state. Um, so thank you to the whole Ohio X team for all of the other partners, for the students and the organizations and the businesses who are celebrating tech in Ohio and helping keep the state such a great place to, to work and, and celebrate technology. So um, now we're going to watch a quick video that takes you inside our new Albany data center for uh, a quick look at what we do there and how things work. So Chris, back to you to tee that up. Sounds great. Thank you, Amber. And 
our backstage producer is going to tee up this video for us. We'll hop off stage as you watch the video, and I'll come back on as soon as the video is done. So we'll see you all in a moment. Hope you enjoy this video and talk to you in just a little bit. Welcome to Facebook's New Albany Data Center. Hi, I'm Danielle Sullivan. I'm one of the site coordinators here in New Albany. Why don't you come on in and take a look at what we got inside. We broke ground on this facility in 2017. We started serving traffic in 2020 and construction continues. Once it's complete, this data center will represent more than a $1 billion investment in the state of Ohio and will support more than 150 jobs. Facebook also builds some of the world's most sustainable data centers supported by 100% renewable energy, and they make a positive difference for the local economy and community. There's a lot that goes into bringing Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger to billions of people around the world. The Facebook New Albany Data Center is the physical backbone of the highly advanced infrastructure that helps people to connect every day through Facebook's products, apps, and services. Now that you know what the data center does, let's toss it over to Vic, and he's going to take you into the administrative building and then the data halls. Hi, my name is Victor Piney, and I'm the data center site manager here at the New Albany Data Center. The first place I'd like to show you is our admin area. It takes all types of jobs to run a data center from technical operations, electricians, air conditioning and heating specialists, to culinary staff, security, and more. Before we can start working in an administrative area and serving traffic through the data halls, it takes many months of construction to build the physical structure. During construction at the New Albany Data Center, we had an average of 1,200 workers on site at peak. Today, we have approximately 100 people working here in the office and data halls. Our administrative spaces and conference room names reflect the local culture and community. Like this room, one small step, named in honor of Ohio's own Neil Armstrong and his historic trip to the moon. We're also proud of murals and artwork created by local artists. Next, we'll head to the data hall. Facebook data centers are pretty big facilities. Each data center building is the size of a modern aircraft carrier nearly four football fields long. Once completed, the New Albany Data Center will be nearly 2.5 million square feet, containing thousands of servers. Our data centers have been designed from the ground up to be some of the most efficient data centers in the world. That includes our servers. Our server designs eliminate any unnecessary pieces of hardware, logos, or plastic to make it more efficient. This server is filled with dozens of hard drives that host pictures, videos, graphics, and all sorts of things that make Facebook happen. We open source and share these hyper-efficient server designs with other companies through a program called the Open Compute Project. We do this in hopes of enabling companies of all sizes to use energy more efficiently and to drive efficiency improvements across the industry. Our data centers are supported 24 seven by technicians who ensure that Facebook servers are up and running. Our server hardware is supported by on-site technicians who perform all physical part swaps and repairs as needed. Another special feature is that our data centers can operate in a higher temperature environment, which reduces the overall cooling load required in these facilities. This is the hot aisle where hot air generated from servers is collected and either recirculated or efficiently removed from the data center. Now I'm going to turn it over to Gina Dunham and she's going to tell us more about our data center design and sustainability efforts. Hi, I'm Gina and I'm the facility support manager here at the data center. Let's go check out the penthouse. The penthouse is where you can really see our sustainable designs at work. Facebook data centers are 80% more water efficient and use an estimated 32% less electricity than an average data center. And we're proud the New Albany data center is supported by 100% renewable energy. The penthouse has a few important rooms that help the data center operate efficiently. The intake room, the filter room, and the fan room. Large fans pull in fresh air through a panel, filter it, draw out the humidity, and then funnel it down to the server room. This creates a workable environment for both our servers and our staff. By operating our servers at higher temperatures, 
We're able to keep them cool with outdoor air most of the year by using a direct evaporative cooling system instead of energy intensive air conditioning equipment. We also set sustainability goals for ourselves. In April, 2021, Facebook announced that our global operations have reached net zero emissions. All of our data centers incorporate sustainable design elements and construction practices that conserve energy and water, earn LEED Gold certification, create healthy workspaces, treat our land and communities with respect, source materials responsibly, and achieve high recycling rates. Keeping the data center running is important, but that's not all we do here in New Albany. We are committed to having a positive impact and supporting this community through volunteering and investing in local schools, small businesses, and nonprofit organizations. Facebook is proud to call New Albany home and prouder still of our partnership with the community and what we've been able to accomplish together. So far, we've provided more than $2 million to support a range of projects to benefit the community, and we can't wait to see what's next. Thank you, New Albany. We are so glad to be here in Ohio. Thank you, Brian, for, for uh, sharing the video and thank you to the Facebook team for helping put that together. Um, really awesome example. And I think that's what about Ohio Tech Day is, is all about in that here we have one of the biggest technology, most innovative companies in the world. And there's Ohioans that are helping make it all possible. And so, Danielle, I see you in the comments, who is the star of the video. Awesome job. Thank you for sharing the work. That was so cool. Um, now what I want to do a little bit is kind of run through what this program is. So from 8.30 to 10.30 a.m., this virtual kickoff event, and we're seeing in the chats people from Cincinnati, Cleveland, I see, I've seen Dayton, I've seen uh, Columbus, Toledo, et cetera, all here. So if you're listening and tuning in, feel free to type where you're listening from. We have some schools out there, so feel free to share what school district you're with, two of you would like. Um, but the way that this part of the, the day works, and again, this is our statewide kickoff virtual event, um, and that you can see in the chat, that's the whole point of it, is we're bringing people together from all across the state. Uh, at 9 a.m., we're going to hear from Lieutenant Governor John Husted, who's such an advocate for the tech and innovation community in the state of Ohio. Uh, he's going to offer some remarks, kind of talk about the work that they're doing uh, right here in the state uh, with our, our leaders. Um, so that's going to be at 9 a.m. Then at 9.30, we're inviting a student panel to have a conversation. It's going to be by students for students. Um, it's five students from college and high school doing different stuff. They're part of their school's robot teams. Uh, they've launched hackathons, nonprofits. As we're building Tech Day, one of the things we heard from students in talking about this day was it's great to be talked to and we love listening to tech pros and what they're working on, but we would love to have our own voice. And so we've purposefully built that. So they'll have the opportunity as well. Then at 10 a.m., we're going to have some tech pros that are doing different stuff from big corporations doing amazingly innovative work to startups. Uh, we're also going to have someone from the FBI who's helping, you know, so much going on at, at, at the national security level uh, with cybersecurity and other things. And then we'll close at 1030. Um, purposefully, all of these segments of this virtual program are 30 minutes or less. And that's designed so that as we have these live and also as we have them recorded, that it can be really an asset and a benefit to students and teachers and schools and it can fit into their lesson plans. That was one of the other things that we've purposely built using um, kind of this platform and this agenda. What happens then after 1030 is across the state, there's gonna be statewide virtual, in-person, online, big, small Ohio Tech Day celebrations uh, where people are gonna be able to showcase their work, bring their communities together, again, online or in-person, all of it's great. Uh, we're all going through this COVID thing together. And so online or in person is, is fantastic. One of the cool things with that is we'll be uh, also sharing these stories all across Ohio. And we're asking people whether they're doing virtual stuff or in person 
to use the hashtag, hashtag Ohio Tech Day. So put it on Facebook, put it on Instagram, put it on your social media accounts and share what's going on. We've had a bunch. And what's cool to see is we know that at Youngstown State University, they're doing stuff up at Color Coded Labs in Cleveland. They're doing some things. Uh, Jute, a, a fintech startup in Cincinnati, partnered with a fintech company here in Columbus Dollar, which you'll hear from in a little bit, to build a scholarship database and map that students can use free coding and programming language to design on their own. And that's the spirit of the day is promoting tech in Ohio and helping inspire Ohio students to hopefully consider their careers and get involved. And that's what's so cool. We're also going to be giving out a few of these across the state. We're partnering with an awesome nonprofit. It's a national 501c3 called the AI Education Project. And what they're doing is hoping to get more students involved with artificial intelligence education, helping train them for what all these emerging technologies hold. So across the day, I'll be going to a school myself later. We're going to be delivering some of these across the state. It's only a few to start, but you know we have to start somewhere and that's cool. And there's so much happening with it. And so, so much going on. I wanna thank everyone for being here. Um, and, and before we kind of reset the stage, wanna also mention at ohiotechday.org, you know, Tech Day, the website, the name of this event, it implies one day. And we've decided that it's gonna be the last Friday every September. So next year, Friday, September 30th, 2022, but in between, there's so much work we can do. And as we've been building so many partnerships and relationships with schools, with organizations, with technology companies that are passionate about growing our tech sector, what we want to do is continue this conversation year round. So I'm going to drop a couple links here in the chat. Here in the chat, uh, two of them at the Tech Day website, it's education and stories. And so this is just the start. But what we're doing on this website is creating these resources. This is from tech companies, tech leaders, tech communities, and building them for high school students for teachers free of charge. And these are things that you can take advantage of. And what's fun about it is this is only going to keep growing and adding. So if you, your company, your organization have some great stuff, you want to get involved, reach out to us. Send us a note on the Tech Day website. Uh, and help get involved because it's really such a fantastic opportunity to give back and hopefully help inspire, as we like to say, the next generation of our innovation leaders. And so with that, we're going to set, we're going to kind of pause for a moment. I'd love for you to check out ohiotechday.org, check out some of the growing partners, check out some of the education resources companies like Jute and Dollar and Verizon and Facebook have created. And then stories. One of the things we were able to do is interview uh, a handful of tech pros from across Ohio, tell their stories. They're working at big companies and startups, all sorts of tech backgrounds. They have PhDs. They didn't go to school for tech, but they all have an interesting story to share. And so we've started this hashtag I am Ohio Tech campaign to tell those stories. So we're going to pause now. I'm going to hop off stage. We're going to welcome the Lieutenant Governor in about 10 minutes. In the meantime, would love for you to check out uh, resources and go to ohiotechday.org and see what we're building there. Uh, and we'd love to work with you to build more. So with that said, I'm going to hop off and we're not we're going to stop broadcasting for a moment. So go to the go to the website if you can, and we'll regroup in about 10 minutes for our next portion of the day. So we'll, we'll see you all soon.